I'm not much of a runner. My sister got all the sporty genes in our family. But I've been thinking a lot about running recently. You may have heard people say that life is a marathon, not a sprint. Well, at this point, the COVID-19 pandemic is probably starting to feel like a marathon. Maybe you're working tirelessly on the front lines, taking care of sick patients, or keeping the rest of us safe and supplied with everything we need. Or perhaps you're juggling virtual business meetings with homeschooling your kids. Or maybe you're just exhausted after another expedition to the grocery store. My sister has run several marathons, so I asked her whether she had any advice about marathon running that might give us some spiritual insight for this COVID-19 marathon or any other trial that we experience in life. First, she said that training before a marathon is really important. That reminded me that Jesus said we should be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. So during the big storm, when the rain came down and the floods came up, the house on the rock stood firm. If we build our lives with God as our foundation, by reading the Bible and applying God's teaching to our lives, he will help us to stand strong when we encounter challenges. It's also important to stay hydrated and nourished during a marathon. And my sister said that she really appreciates people handing out water bottles and cheering her along at the side of the road. In recent weeks, we've been challenged to consider how we can support others by helping in practical ways, as well as by connecting with people to encourage them, pray with them, and remind them of God's promises. Even with lots of encouragement from others, however, you might be experiencing what marathon runners call hitting the wall, when they've depleted their body's energy stores and are mentally exhausted too. Marathon runners who've hit the wall can regain their strength and complete the race if they slow down, consume some calories, and walk or rest for a while to allow their bodies to recover. We also need to make sure that we rest and allow God to restore our strength. The good news in the COVID-19 marathon and other marathons we face in life is that as we read in chapter 11 of Matthew's gospel, Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 says, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So if you are weary today, remember that God is running this marathon with you. And if you turn to him for rest and strength, he will sustain you to the finish line.